Hello again, it's Tubal Kane. I'm going to give you a little more old technology today. The thing I'd like to show you today, and I'm going to have uh, actually three videos on uh, variations of this subject, but we're at the Bridgeport Mill now, and I want to show you how to indicate uh, your spindle so that it is in the perfect center of a hole, because eventually we're going to bore this hole. Now, there might be other reasons why you want to find uh, the exact uh, center of something or you may have a shaft or a pin sticking up and you want to find the center of that and we would sweep the indicator around this instead of inside the hole but the operation is essentially the same. If you have a rotary table on your uh, milling machine uh, this is kind of a small one, but uh, often before you use the uh, rotary table, you might want to find uh, the exact center of the bore here, or that is you want the spindle of the machine to be in the center of the hole. We are going to uh, bore this uh, piece that I have in here eventually. so in order to bore it. I'm just enlarging it. It's already been bored, but I want to enlarge it and I want it to be accurate so there's a great need to uh, be uh, in the true center when we put the boring head in there and take our first cut. Notice how I'm holding this now. I do have a V-block which is kind of big and klutzy. We've got a couple parallels under there because when we bore this later on we don't want to hit the bottom of the vise nor do we want to hit the parallel so the parallels can be pulled out. like so and boring doesn't put much pressure on us so I don't believe that it's going to move but one other thing to be careful of here when you're going to bore something like this if it has thin walls be careful you don't crush it and bring it out of round then when you bore it you're going to bring it into true round again and when you release it in the vise then it's going to spring out of round and it's going to be an elliptical or oval shaped hole. So you don't uh, need to tighten this very tight. However, if you have a thin walled piece, you may need to clamp it some other way. Okay, now we're ready to uh, indicate the. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to find the rough center of the hole. And uh, we're going to. Uh, I put a. 3 8 dowel pin in there just in a 3 jaw chuck and I'm bringing that down into the hole and I'm moving the table back and forth until it looks like it's approximately in the center and then just with your 6 inch scale check take a reading on all four sides and I'm turning it back and forth and it looks like it needs to be about 3 8 of an inch from each side in order to be uh, in a, the approximate center. Okay, now we have that and I'm going to put the last word indicator into the spindle. Okay, we've got the test indicator mounted in the chuck, the little drill chuck. It could be mounted in a collar, it could matter less, but it does have to be mounted in the spindle, not in any other place on the machine. And make sure you don't turn the spindle on. This is strictly a static uh, uh, test that we're making. I like the last word indicator because it's got a little ball joint right here. Now you can use other test indicators as well that have the dovetail on the back, whatever you happen to have or whatever your preference is, but it cannot be a back plunger type. It has to be this smaller one that fits inside the hole. Now I've moved this uh, so that we're roughly uh, on center and we made it pretty close to being on center with that uh, dowel bin I had in there a few minutes ago. So now I'm going to uh, move the spindle or the table rather. This is the X axis. This is the Y axis. And uh, we're going to uh, move that to zero. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm within 10 degree, uh, 10 thousandths right now.
I keep zeroing that out. And we're very close there. Within uh, four thousandths right now. So I always go half that amount. And I'm turning the dial back to zero and I'm bringing it around to the other side. And I'm within one thousandth there. But now let's check it in the Y axis. And I'm very close there already within uh, about three thousand. So I'm going to move the Y axis in just a little bit. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. Zero that out. Now I'm going to turn it toward the back, which of course you're not going to be able to see. And I'm within one thousandth. So I'm going to move that half that amount and zero out the little dial. And it's on zero there. It's on zero there. And we're facing it the other way. And we're on zero there. So now we've got a zero reading. Now make sure there's no burrs in here. If you got any burrs or rough spots, that's going to give you a, a little fluctuating reading. Now if it's a rough piece of stock to start with, you're just going to have to deal with that. But this was fairly smooth inside because it's been machined before. And I knew it to be truly round. If it's out around, you're going to get funny readings on here that might be hard to figure out. Check it one more time and then lock your table, both your X and your Y axis. And we are now on true center. The center of the spindle coincides with the center of the hole. Now it was not necessary to use a digital readout for this operation because all of our readings are taken on the dial of the little steric last word indicator. Raise the quill to get that out of there and we're essentially done. Now when you do this, make uh, these indicators are reversible. That is we can make it so that when I push it this way we'll get a reading or there's a little lever back here that allows you to take a reading the other way. So if you were going to sweep this around the shaft, like I showed you earlier, you would need to use your indicator in the other mode. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the actual boring. We'll put a boring head in here and have several requests for that. Uh, if this was useful to you, uh, let me know. And I'll put more videos on that are similar to this. Hope this was helpful to you in showing you how to find the true center of a hole. Tubal Cain saying, so long for now.